All right, welcome back to Nerd Cheek. Today, I'm going to break an iPad mini. So, on Nerd Cheek, what I like to do is, if something's broken and I really can't fix it and it's really dead, I like to break it open and look under the hood and see what's really in there. And so this is a Mac mini. It's like the second or so generation of it. And I have been just wonderfully blessed with it. Now I'm done with it. So I'm gonna bust this thing open and let's just look under the hood. So join me. While I'm doing that, don't forget we have a Nerd Cheek or a Ask the Nerd website. It's askthenerd.net. Go check it out. And um, you're going to find other resources there as well as a lot of things we give away. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm using, when I'm dealing with glass like this, if I'm going to break or crack or whatever, I like to cover it so that it doesn't come back in my face. I also am wearing safety glasses and gloves. So if you're doing this kind of stuff, I encourage you to wear the right stuff. So I'm just going to Oh, I heard it break there. It's actually fairly hard to break these guys. Let's see how I did. Oh, my lands. Look at that. Only a crack. Wow. These things are durable, guys. Did you just see that? I just hit it with a hammer really hard. I'm going to hit it harder. Let's see if it broke. Wow. So what does it take to really break these things, you know? I mean... That's me hitting it really doggone hard, and it just took it, absorbed it. Guys, I am, I am smacking that thing. Here we go. I just hit it hard. Look at that. This is how durable these screens are. Look at that thing. Isn't that incredible? Now, I've gotten this thing cracked right here, so I'm going to work in from this crack because obviously this joker is hardcore, you know, Oh, well, actually, you know what? This is, it's coming up right here. Okay, so I'm gonna work in from this side over. Let's see if that works. There we go. I got a weakened spot and I was able to crack it. But you guys saw that. I was beating the mess out of this thing. And it just took so much to get through it. Very, very durable. I'm working in from the cracks. Now we're talking. Look at that shattered. Okay, now I'm gonna start trying to peel it, pick it up from the edges and get this glass off of it. If you've ever seen somebody work on one of these, this is some of the stuff they do when they're removing it. Now I've got little shards everywhere, so I'm being real careful. Um, if you guys do this at home, I'm, I'm not encouraging anybody to do this at home, actually. So be careful, be careful, be careful. Again, I'm wearing all kinds of safety protective stuff. All right, I'm just gonna dig this out here and see what we can get in here too. I love my Mac Minis. They're very good devices. Um, and generally, I wouldn't ever destroy one like this because I just, I love how it functions and works. But this one just wouldn't come on anymore. And so I'm wanting to get inside of it. And really, it is something to get in there. Jeez. I'm gonna have to really weaken it a lot more to get any kind of play to hurt these things it really takes some work they're very durable good kudos to apple here we go now i'm starting to get some play man i want to get inside this joker what if i can get this off let's see if i can get this off Really, if you think about it, these jokers are very durable. There we go. Now I'm getting some breakage. Here comes the screen. We break it. Oh, here it comes. First layer of screen coming off, the protector. Goodness gracious. Hey, it powered on. This whole time it hasn't been working. All of a sudden it decides to work. But it still doesn't work, function the right way. So this is not a good device. All right, now we're getting that first layer off. That took some work. 
There we go. Look at that. That's just the protectant. If you think about it, what an incredible device that's got this layer of really durable glass over that actual screen in there. I mean, geez louise, guys. This is really a very well-built device. Probably the best built, I'll have to say, you know, everybody else out there included, this is the best built tablet that I know of. Boom, I got that off. Now I can get in here and start working on getting parts out and see things. Isn't that funny? It's now trying to set up. This thing wouldn't even work before, and now I beat it to death, and it's like, hello, I'll turn back on again. Okay, so just breaking it and opening it. Let's see what's under here. I'm gonna get all these edges up so I can get this unplugged if I can. Interesting. Boy, this is gonna be a massive cleanup job. I got little shards of glass everywhere. It takes a lot to break it, but once you do, it's a mess. That's why you wanna watch somebody like me break one of these and you don't wanna do it at home. Okay. If I were gonna fix this, I would be really a lot more gentle, but I'm not fixing it. I'm pulling it apart and looking under the hood. So here comes that screen. It's hooked right there too. So I'll get that out. We break it. Here it comes. Look at that. Oh. Boom. Breaking it. Now we breaking it. That's liquid crystal. So there's what the liquid crystal looks like. It's got the liquid in there, the crystal, it's got the connectors and that's the electrodes behind it. Wow, if you can really see this, that, that um, it's almost like a um, coppery looking look is actually all kinds of grids under here where the electricity runs through. Pretty awesome, my friends. I've never noticed, this is fun, see? Taking it apart the other way, you don't get to see all the insides. This way you get to see all the inside stuff. I've replaced screens on these and done stuff in, internally and I know the right way to get them apart, but this is just for the pure heck of it. Just ripping it to pieces. Okay, here we go. And there's the screen. Look at that. Look at this. There it is. Wow. That's what's behind it. Interesting. Interesting. Look at that. That's just a sheet. Interesting. And there's the other, look at that, other sheets. That's how that works. The liquid and copper all the way through here. Oh my goodness, if you guys could just see the grids of copper lines, this is amazing. What an interesting thing. The screen makers are interesting. So you get into here and you're thinking this whole machine is like all kinds of chips and stuff and everything else and you just got the screen out. You're like, where is all the other stuff? Well, you're gonna find it. All the other stuff for this device is very, very lightly packed into here. I mean, if you think about what they've accomplished in a very small space, it's incredible. I mean, the technology is massively different than where it was before. Now, we got screws on this and we're gonna see into this piece. Let's unscrew it. My handy dandy miniature screwdriver set. That's, I got one that's just for um, eyeglasses. Now, granted, if you're really replacing one of these, you wanna make sure you know where all the screws go and get them out the right way and put them back in and all that stuff. I am not, I'm just tearing this thing apart. So this is not for anybody to follow to replace a screen. I will do separate videos on that another time. I've done that before. I've replaced screens on iPads and tablets and iPhones over the years many times. As a matter of fact, my early days, I used to buy the first 
palm devices in lots, broken lots, and then I would replace parts with one to another and resell them on eBay back in the day. And that was a way I made a lot of money in my early days of this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna try to get this out of here so we can see under it. Again, I'm not doing this right because I don't care about it getting busted up. I'm just trying to get it out of here quicker. It is really attached well. There's another screw, I missed one. It's a smaller head. Got it. I got them all. Oh, there's another one hidden down under. There you go. So we can get it out now. Here it comes. Woo! Boy, I got cleanup to do. Some shards of glass just popped up. Glad I'm wearing those glasses to keep me protected. And now, this is what's under the hood. This is, I'm going to rip this if I can. Because I don't feel like I'm doing it right now, we're talking. So, we're down into here. What are you seeing? Well, first off, the lithium ion battery, battery is this guy. That whole thing is a battery. And that's right up against the back. Down here is where you're finding all of the hardworking components of this device. This is fun. I love breaking stuff and looking at it. I know you could look at schematics online and all that kind of stuff, but there's something about breaking stuff that's just kind of fun. Especially whenever it's giving you good service and it's finished its lifespan and of course Apple's not supporting it anymore. Why waste my time keeping it when I can't even download apps for it? Might as well just break it open and have fun looking around. Let's see, I'm just undoing every screw I can right now. All right, we're getting it open. Again, if you're just tuning in right now, be sure to get to our Nerd Cheek website, or Ask the Nerd website. It supports Nerd Cheek in the Ask the Nerd podcast. It's at askthenerd.net. Tell us other things you want to see us break. We're going to keep breaking stuff. Okay, let's get it open. Boom, there's one. Ah, look at there. Now you're starting to see the hardworking components. If I were being careful, I would be careful, you know, really work on how I separate these things. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is just fun. There's the there's the um, chip that's for the manufacturer, which you poke out right here. It's still in there. That one looks like a Verizon chip. So going in here and pull this open. Boom, let's look under the hood. All right, oh, cool. There's the A5 processor, look at that, guys. That's the processor, that tiny little thing right there that's no bigger than a dime is truly a multi-core processor that's incredibly powerful. And what you're seeing in here is actually more technology that was in the lunar lander back in the 60s. So we put men on the moon with less technology than you're seeing right here. That's incredible. So there's the A5 chip, the graphics chips are in here. I mean, you're, this is really cool to get to see it. And you know, it really tells you what's, it's a whole different thing to look at where everything lives in these devices. So you wonder, where's all the processing? Where's the data? Where does, where's the little teeny hard drive and all that stuff? Where's the battery? What takes up the most space? Now you're seeing it. So there's the Qualcomm chip. That's gonna be for your um, communications piece. There's a Toshiba chip. I didn't know Toshiba had any parts in the Apple devices. How about that? Again, that's the card that um, talks to your network provider. So it's like Verizon, AT&T or whatever. This back here is the monster battery and inside of, let's see, let's look on down in here. Wow, this is cool. Interesting. Let's pull up all these metal pieces. They're holding everything in. There we go. Wow. 
I'm just flipping and popping open everything I can. This is so interesting. See, that's a connector right there, and there's a connector. It's all the connectors for the camera and everything up top. Wow. Okay, let's see if I can pop out this battery. You need to be careful with it. These guys are pretty sensitive. And there's those connectors, there's the camera. Hmm. I mean, you think about what, how much space is in this. The majority of the space is used by the battery itself. And the rest of this is, I can bend the back. Okay, now I can see. So that really is just the battery. I don't see anything else up behind it. If we pull it out, it's just the battery. And all of your memory and everything is right in here. Wow, guys. So it looks like your memory's right in there, it looks like. My stars, maybe that's what Toshiba did. My goodness, look at that. Qualcomm, Toshiba, the Apple A5 processor, all of that. And guys, that's it. That's the busted open internals of a, a little iPad mini. Isn't that interesting? All right, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe to the Nerd Cheek YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in today. Give us some love on here. Hit the comments and tell me if there are other things that you want us to break that you'd love to see the internals on. And um, if we do something you recommend, we will shout you out on the video. You guys take care. Bye-bye.